All right, we're going from big city to big animal because today we're building a habitat for the African elephants. And yes, I might want to redo the entire Africa section after this. All right, I'm going to be honest. The reason that we have African elephants right now instead of the new animals, because I did get early access to the arid animal pack. But the reason that we are having elephants right now instead of the new animals is... I don't have a brain. Well, I don't have an attention span. And I knew that like, because I was halfway through building the elephant habitat when I got early access to the arid animal pack, I knew that like, if I switched to another habitat, I would just completely lose focus and both habitats would suffer. So yeah, we're having elephants today because I like to torture myself. No, really, I. this is one of the reasons why I don't really like building ha large habitats is because i don't have an attention span so halfway through building the habitat i was just like Meh. i don't know does anyone else have that for any of like the larger animals in plant zoo that like halfway through building a habitat for them you're just like let's just spam click grass and such but yeah so uh, the, that's why this one took well actually this is a week after the city build so it's fine but uh, yeah, I want a small habitat after this one. But I have been watching a lot of Caesar Creates and some other plants of YouTubers because I don't know. I just, I like hearing them being a squirrel because I watch them on like two times speed. So everybody sounds like a fucking chipmunk to me. <laughs> and it's weird when I, when I hear them just like when I start the video and it's a normal speed, it's just like, you are not what I heard. Go back into chipmunk mo mode at two point speed. But uh, yeah, but I've been watching a lot just to like kind of get more better at nature or just habitat building. And yeah, when it came to elephants, it's just like, yeah, they will eat everything in their habitat. I still put a, probably a lot more plants in their habitat than would be normal like probably the elephants would have eaten a lot of it already but it was just like i don't want just an entire sand even though a lot of like real life habitats for the elephants like in real life zoos they are pretty much just sand elephants eat a lot anyways we are not starting with the actual habitat itself because when do i ever spend a lot of time on the actual habitat i like building buildings not the actual habitats so what we're building right now is the elephant house. Also, yes, elephants are basically living avalanches. So would they be able to break out of this building? Probably. I did put some like iron fences near the glass just so that it's just like, oh yeah, if there's a stampede, you have the idea of safety. Naturalis is not liable for any death by trampling of elephants. I just, I imagine that that's just like a sign near this habitat. Like, yeah, you're on your own. If the elephants escape, you can't sue us because there's a sign. <laughs> anyway, so the build is actually not based on like a real building. Like a lot of the times when it comes to what I built, a lot of the times it's like kind of based on like an architectural rendering or something. But this was just a drawing. I was just like, yeah, I'm on that part and that part. I also want to build a tower, which is just part of the course for me. Well, actually, with Naturalis so far, I haven't built towers. But I really like building towers. So at this point, I didn't really have like a style in mind when it came to this building, which is why there's a lot of glass and such. And also the reason why it, only the color so far really shows like, oh yeah, this is supposed to be the African area. And I also already said in previous videos, like, I don't like modern architecture just because it's just so general sometimes where, like, you could build a skyscraper all over the world and it would look the same everywhere because there's no culture behind it. Like, a lot of modern architecture can be just completely devoid of culture. Like, you could just plop down the same skyscraper in, like, LA and Tokyo and it just, yeah, and it has been done. Well, not exactly the same, like it pretty much just glass, steel, boom, done. At this point, it was pretty much that. It was just like, oh yeah, the color is warm, gives like a little bit of like a warm sense. It's only later on that I really like just zoomed in on an architectural style, which is, if I'm correct, from Mali. Like the mosque of Jadid. 
Jenny. That's not how it's called, but it's like it's a really significant building, just architecturally and such in Mali, if I'm correct. Also, just a side note, I did look up like for some reason, this is just what my brain immediately wants to do is just like, all right, what is the history? What is what's why is it built like this? And then inevitably you run into like, oh, yeah, these countries violate these human rights. Do I still want to build buildings from those countries? Yeah, because most of those buildings are like hundreds of years old and don't really reflect currently happening there. But yeah, it was kind of like, oh, yes, I finally found like a really nice architectural style. And then Wikipedia is just like, fuck you, bitch. Here's all the human rights things that are going wrong in that country and that country. Because I did look beyond Mali, of course. And it was just like, yeah. I don't know why, I, why I'm just like immediately just like, why did I look at that? I mean, it's probably just, you know, to be well informed and everything and just because I'm curious. But sometimes I'm just like, all right, brain, stop looking for our problems here. That's how we fucked up our life already. We don't want to fuck up Planet Zoo as well. Uh, anyways, uh, let's move on to the actual tower because the only reason that I built this tower was just because I wanted the tower. Also, I feel like this area would be where there's like a gate so that at night when there or night well maybe naturalis will be open until like 10 i don't know but because i want naturalis to basically be a very big zoo i just had the idea of like oh yeah and here's where they could put a gate in so that they could like close off areas so that like they kind of funnel people to the entrance at the end of the day and so they would be able to like, oh, close the, off the African area and such, but still make it somewhat look natural by having like a tower or like something that's just not just like, oh yeah, here's just a gate, like just a metal frame gate or something like that. Yes, the staff area, like the big staff area for Natras does have one of those just like bam steel frame gates. But when it comes to like these different sections that are meant for the guests to see i just wanted to kind of more blend and so going beyond that here's more suffering because i couldn't stop like you would think like oh yeah after building that city i will build something small and such which was definitely also the intention i really did not think of like oh yeah the elephants are going to be like you know it's going to be a large habitat no, my stupid brain didn't think like that. My brain was just like, oh yeah, it's an animal going to go fast. I'm an idiot because my brain likes to self-sabotage and just, uh, I made a viewing gallery because why not? I also made a gift shop because why not? I made a park because why not? I did. This is the one thing that I'm like proud of. I did just blatantly copy the lift like the wheelchair lift from the asian area recolored it a bit and just smashed it in here like that's the one place where i was just like yeah i'm not going to build that one again because probably like that lift is like up to regulations and such and um, my brain was already fried so i i, I only self-sabotage when it comes to the actual habitat itself Sometimes I have clever ideas of like, oh yeah, this I this is perfectly functional. I'm going to use this. And then I built a viewing gallery with like an impossible roof. Well, it's not an impossible roof. It's basically just like a wave, but it's not that easy when you're actually building it. When you're looking at it, it's just like, oh yeah, that looks simple. At least for me, it looks simple. And then when you're actually building it, it's just like, oh, this is what hell is like. Kind of toasty in here. Actually, that's what the Netherlands has been like lately. And I know for a lot of people, it's like, oh yeah, 30 degrees Celsius. That's nothing. Bitch, we don't have air conditioning here. We are frying in our own houses. And there's no clouds. There's no wind. Well, actually, there's a bit of wind, which is amazing. But like, we are being fried. Like, I know that it's like, oh yeah, I live in Italy. It's... 40 degrees here or or i live in brazil and it's we are legitimately able to boil or boil 
well, actually, to boil water on the sidewalk. And I'm just like, yeah, it's 30 degrees here. I'm dying. I know that I, like, I have it easy. But I'm also a bitch and I like to complain. So, yeah, there's that. And I do actually have, like, a portable air conditioning machine thing. But I also am an idiot because I said it just, like, completely, like, max not or like the lowest temperature so i get cold <laughs> then i am too lazy to turn it up so yeah it's basically just self-inflicted harm this is legit just like the pokemon hurt itself in its confusion but for me it would be poison hurt itself in its idiosity and laziness i don't know where this video is going actually i'm going to be honest half of the the time I've like, I have an idea of what I want to talk about when it comes to the video. And then it just goes, which is like, I'm happy with it because I have no shame left. Like that's one of the great things of doing YouTube. It's just like, yeah, I have no shame left. <laughs> you learn that very fast. How much can I profit off of shame? <laughs> Nothing. Anyways, moving on to the actual roof, because maybe I eventually am going to talk about things that I'm building. Also, I want to do the trash can review. <laughs> like I want to do like the same thing with the bench tier list I want to do with the trash cans because I just, I'm in a mood. And as some people know, when I'm in a mood, you basically just leave me alone. Occasionally poke me with a stick to see if I'm still alive. And then you just go on about your day. You just like, don't like poke me with a stick, to see if I'm alive. If I move, run away because chaos and you don't want to be near chaos when it's happening anyways back to the actual building so as i said the wavy roof which looks pretty like you know doesn't look that difficult when you uh, see the result for some reason this has just become my nemesis also i wanted to make it a little bit more realistic and not just have it float which uh yeah poison some buildings don't float they are shit buildings, but uh, yeah, sometimes buildings just don't float or roofs don't float. What was I going on about again? Like sometimes I just have brain fart in the middle of doing my voiceovers. But uh, yeah, anyways, so when it comes to the actual build and mostly just the parting, I was like really unsure how to do the parting because the elephants have that half of the parting for it is raised up because i wanted this sort of like elevated promenade boulevard kind of vibe but it's really nice when you have like that idea in your head trying to make it work is another thing and then i saw an image somewhere of like these sort of staircase elevated parts and that's what we went a lot of plans as well because here's the thing when it came to the african section the one thing that I really wanted to have was just color and life and such. Because that's just like there's so much color and and just cultural and history in Africa. And I was just like, yeah, I want to be able to show that. I want to be able to show just how rich in history and such Africa is. So when it comes to like the next build i'm already just looking at just different cultures like different cultures and their architectural styles and such i've also been looking at like ethiopia bedouin culture berber culture just like and berber is like it's like to say it easily i just hit my mic so that might be not noticeable or i don't know the other word because uh squirrel brain here but just to like very quickly go over that berber just moroccan to make it very easily even though berber culture is bigger than just morocco and bedouin is like middle eastern like the arabian peninsula and much and i think much beyond that but uh, yeah just to give you like a general idea of like the areas but yeah i've just been looking at like those but also just like south south of the sahara because or yeah south of the sahara i actually said it 
correct. And then I was just like, yeah, my brain doesn't work. Let's just double check that I say it right because I don't trust myself to say it right. Also, just a quick note. This was the, one of the more annoying things because like the there is actually in the Africa pack, there are like these peaks. I'm just going to call them right now or these points that, you know, work really well that are i think just completely based on like mali architecture when it comes to like that specific area and the specific architectural style that i am going for but this is always the thing they're always either too small or too big in the case of this one they were a bit too big so uh had to make them myself good thing of this entire build is like i am a lot more just like daring when it comes to like oh yeah this shape is just going to be a pain in the ass but for some reason i want to do that i don't know why i might have to check if I, after this i'm like into bdsm because i seem to be able to like torturing myself so maybe that's going to happen uh, that's just a joke just in case that anyone is going to take that serious uh, no keep your fucking whips away from me I, that's a sentence that just came out of my mouth and I had to just be silent for a while just to think of like, what am I saying? Anyways, but yeah, I'm also looking at like architectural styles from south of the Sahara just because I just generally tend to go for like Northern Africa and Middle Eastern architectural styles because they're like the most familiar to me, but it's like the really interesting architectural styles for me are like south of the Sahara because it's just such a different look usually anyways so here's what I meant when it came to like oh yeah I wanted this like staircase boulevard vibe that I found somewhere and then I wanted color because while I was searching up like uh, architecturals like Mali architecture and just like finding or Malinese I think Malinese architecture just to like find the reference points of like oh this is what I want and this and it's supposed to look like this I also just like there's a lot of just like I'm just going to call it African fabrics where I was just like yeah it's so colorful and such and I want to be able to represent that in this build so of course I wrapped the planters in basically just color and patterns and search and I really like it because it just it adds a bit of color because so far all of that you've seen right now that I've built is just like beige maybe like orange and such I wanted to say like oh yeah burnt copper for some reason I have no idea what burnt copper looks like is it even a color why did my brain want to say that boys and we're not that fancy we would definitely eat chicken nuggets off the floor I think I've done that actually once. Not like, oh, I found random chicken nuggets on the floor. No, I mean, I dropped a chicken nugget on the floor. I won't need to say like at home because yeah, I'm also that one person that will not eat at the McDonald's. I will always take it to go because I like being a pig at home, not in public. Don't know why I said a garbage. I wanted to say a train wreck, but my brain was just like, yep, we're not going to help you today. Or yesterday, or the day after that. We have finally actually reached the actual habitat. I also just spit everywhere <laughs> out of excitement. Because uh, am I going to really justify me spitting everywhere? Yes, because this is the largest habitat in planet... Well, not in planet Zoo. Because that will probably go to the polar bears, who I'm not going to build habitat for, because uh, fuck that, I'm not going to torture myself that much. Again, keep the whips and chains away from me, I am not that much into torturing myself. But, yeah, this one. As I said, a lot of like the real, real life elephant habitats are pretty much just sandbags. Like it's just sand, because elephants just eat everything. I did put two trees in there. I made sure that they are tall enough that the elephants actually can't reach the leaves. And I put like a defense or like, I don't know what you call it, a guard on the tree so that the elephants wouldn't like rub against the tree and just 
knock it over. Because again, elephants are living avalanches. And if you, like, for some reason, when I thought like, or when I was small, I always thought like, oh yeah, elephants are really friendly and such that you can just hug them. And then I later grew up and saw videos of elephants chasing cars, and I've never been more freaked out since. Because they sure look just like cuddly. Like for some reason, elephants to me just look cuddly. But they don't really look cuddly when they are chasing you. And you just hear yeah, just stomping. Again, elephants are living avalanches. Just like squirrels are the living embodiment of chaos, elephants are just avalanches. Like if they get moving, you won't stop them. Nope. You're just like, you just buy your gravesite and just just you know you move on you find you find like oh yeah i want to be buried there i want to have like this what's it called again i don't know just like you just sign up for that if, if an elephant chases you just lay down and hope it ends quickly basically is what i'm saying also it, this habitat is not completely realistic because of course there's plants like Yes, they wouldn't eat everything, but there's probably a little bit more plants than would actually be realistic in an elephant habitat. But here I just had some fun because I seen like where where with elephant habitats that like a keeper would go in there and would just like get the host and just spray the elephants. And I was just like, yeah, there's a bull in here. Like there's a male elephant in here. You probably want, don't want to get too close. So I basically just built a shower for the elephants. I'm saying like, oh yeah, you probably don't want to get near it. Like, that's my reasoning. I just wanted a shower for the elephants. <laughs> that's the reason that I built this. Just because I thought it would be fun. So like a keeper, like maybe with like a tour or just like at specific times, a keeper will like go to this habitat and somewhere along the fence, there's a button that they can press so that they turn on the shower. <laughs> My brain was just like, yeah, uh, no. Of course, this would need to be reinforced really strongly because, again, elephants, living embodiment of an avalanche. So it's just like, yeah, how strong can I make this? All right, let's make it completely out of metal beams. Let's make sure that the shower heads are completely just like, just solid. So, just so that like, even if they just go, well, actually, if the elephant chain, like, just goes full rampage into this shower it would probably still be knocked down but like it's not a living thing so most likely the elephants wouldn't just go full crazy mode into this but i just had fun with this i don't know where the idea actually came from for like a shower i don't know like the idea was just like oh yeah i want the elephants to basically be ho hosed down and then just the idea of a shower game for some reason. Like it would have been perfectly fine to just like on the edge where there's the pot, just put like a hose down and so that the keeper can hose down the elephants from outside of the habitat. Also, yes, this habitat is not fulfilling the needs of the elephants when it comes to size and such because rocks and like the hitboxes of the elephants don't really work well together. So a lot of the app that is supposed to be traversable isn't because they're just big and the hitbox of animals is always just going to be annoying because you make something really pretty and then you find out, oh, they can't actually use this because they, there's this one tiny pebble that's in the way. Also, I made another enrichment item thing that's not usable in any sort of way. I just saw it somewhere in an elephant habitat where there was just this ball which probably would have food in it and they could just like i don't know bash it and then food would come out it's not real but it just looks nice and it's like 